what, um, what, 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 um, what, what, sub now before I completely screw this up. Wales. Wales have made it into the semi-finals of the 2016 Euros. Holy crap, Wales! And the most impressive thing about it, it's not all Bale. Yes, realistically, Bale could win the entire tournament by himself, but he hasn't needed to. I mean, look at Hal Robson Canu. He has no team. Released by Reading, no club wants him. Yet he's scoring some of the most important goals of his entire career. England strikers, take note. And that Robson Canu goal, my god, I swear Johan Cruyff would have adopted him. If this was Euro 96, he would be on his way to Manchester United right now, with Johan Cruyff as his daddy. That goal. Aaron Ramsey has basically been the player of the tournament so far. Can we double check his passport? Are we 100% sure he's not English? Can we also discuss this yellow card situation? Two yellows, he's not playing against Portugal. Is that fair in a tournament this big? Maybe there should be another reprieve. Wales beat one of the favorites to get this far and how stylishly they did it. Belgium were flying at the start. I was sure it was gonna be a load of epic goal line clearances and wonder strikes, but Wales totally flipped it. Mark Wilmot got it all wrong again. Thibaut Courtois unashamedly slated his manager after and during the tournament, blaming bad tactics. Kevin De Bruyne was slating him too. It's obvious not all was well in the Belgium camp. Wilmot has got to go, right? Thing is, I kind of get the impression he's just gonna hide under the radar until the next game and then hope everyone's forgotten how bad he is. Can't just blame him though. Some of his team have been concerned about which club they're gonna be turning up to at preseason. And when I say some, I mean like 90%. Mounier, Witzel, Benteke, Lukaku, Romelu, obviously. No one wants Jordan. They were all at the center of strong transfer rumors over the last few weeks. Deciding where you're actually going to live whilst in the middle of a major tournament has got to be distracting. Inside 90 minutes, Portugal still haven't won a game yet. They seem to be stumbling their way through this tournament. Occasionally looking at Ronaldo as if to say, can you help? To which he pretty much always answers no. It was 18 year old Renato Sanchez that saved them against Poland. His strike being the last meaningful kick of the ball before that penalty shootout started. Just in case you've been climbing Mount Everest, still arguing about Brexit on Facebook or literally living under a rock, you may not know that teammates Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale are about to showdown against each other. Are they best friends or mortal enemies? The truth will be there for all to see on Wednesday night. The cameras are gonna be clinging on to every interaction that these two have, desperate for that shot of the post-match handshake. That's if Ronaldo doesn't storm off. Right, I think Wales are gonna win, and here's why. They are clicking, they are clicking. They're working together, it just works. They're gonna be without Ramsey, which is a massive loss, but they're okay. Bale's gonna take control. Portugal are lacking cohesion and leadership. Ultimately, it's down to Ronaldo versus Bale. One of these two is gonna walk away a worthy winner. And right now, Bale is better than Ronaldo. We're gonna see Bale in this year's final. Trust me. I'm done.